So apparently, according to people like Triff, who retweeted the original tweet from Head to Head Battles or Zuzu, whatever his name is, apparently Yu-Gi-Oh's cheap. A thousand dollar decks don't matter. The game is cheap, guys. <laughs> I wanted to let all this drama play out because we're going to talk about the Sky Blackhawk thing too. So let's dive on into it, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, hello, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here. Destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button so we can climb even higher. The 1300 ladder, I need to pull up the tweets here uh, as we talk about this. So just to jump right on into it, there's been some drama in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. I saw where Capital G posted a video about it, and I figured that that was my green light to talk about it because I wanted to let all of this play out first before really diving into this. And at first, when I was thinking about making this video, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go in on Zuzu. But then I saw the drama with him and what was it? Yes, yeah, Skyhawk, um, where there was some back and forth. We're going to be jumping into all that. But um, then I was like, let me go ahead and pull back a little bit because as much as your boy wanted to just turn it on and go in on these fools, um, we're still going to be doing a little bit of that. But I figured let's, let's tone it back a little bit so we don't look like we're just insulting the intelligence of somebody. So... Let's wind the clocks back to the beginning of all this. So Zuzu, aka I think his real name is like head-to-head -head battles or something. I thought he was a competitive player. Apparently he's not. Um, I guess that's where this hot take came from. But he said here, uh, this was back on like January 14th. This is like a week ago. Like I said, I want to let this stuff play out first. But he says, Yu-Gi-Oh is cheap. Competitive Yu-Gi-Oh is not. Stop mixing these two. Any hobby, spelled incorrectly, but it apparently was a typo, but okay. Uh, if you want to compete at the highest level, has a cost. Yu-Gi-Oh is cheap. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, apparently, a thousand dollar decks aren't a thing. Um, look, I don't have any beef with Zuzu or with Drift Gaming, who will later mention who retweeted this, which I think is hilarious. Um, I don't have a beef with them. They might adopt puppies on the weekends or donate to their local charity. I don't know, but. Zuzu, when you have a $1,000 deck in the format, just at that face value, whether you're competitive or you're casual, that's not a good thing, right? I, I don't care if you're like a table 500 player or a table one player at a regional. Having a $1,000 deck in the meta is not a good thing. We're in a diverse meta right now, but this is pre-Phantom Nightmare. Once we get into Phantom Nightmare... I would argue the only decks you're really going to be able to play is Labyrinth, Rescue Ace, or Fire King. And even then, if you play one of the Fire decks, you're going to need the Snake Eye cards. And who knows how expensive Populous is going to be. But you can bet your ass it's going to be a Secret Rare when it's like a fucking super in the uh, OCG. So, Giant Skyhawk. He's the one who made a video. He has a, like maybe 700 more subscribers than we do. Where he said he was quitting Paper Yu-Gi-Oh! because it's very expensive. Instead, he's going to Master Shits, which I don't think is a good idea anyway. Um, but Giant Skyhawk says... Uh, me when I gatekeep. What an insane thing to post. Dude can't even spell hobby right. The example Zuzu gives of PC gaming is also extremely dumb. Apparently there was a tweet about PC gaming. I can't find it. Zuzu responds with, yes, me who doesn't even play competitively am gatekeeping, which I thought he was a competitive player, but I guess not. Thank you for attacking my intelligence from an autocorrect. We 100% need more people like you in this community for sure. Glad to have you. Skyhawk responds with, if you can't see why this is gatekeeping, insulting your intelligence was the right call. I don't think people like should ever insult intelligence like unless it's like a roasting session right like whenever i roast people like pack or whoever i'm calling them out for their shit but at the same time like i'm just roasting you like i don't have a problem with you as i've said before in the past we tend to put on like a little entertainment value on this channel so that's why i always try to preach and like you know don't take anything personally but then shrift uh retweets this and I don't know if he deleted the tweet or what the case may be, but he made the tweet that basically Yu-Gi-Oh's cheap just went a YCS, which to me is really fucking hilarious coming from you, Triff, because you have yet to win a YCS. <laughs> yeah, we went there. Now, just to tackle this whole thing, you saw the tweet on the on the screen and whatever. Look, I've been playing this game competitively for 16 years. I'm not trying to preach that. I'm not trying to say I'm better than anybody else. But you have to understand that in the years of Yu-Gi-Oh, there have been expensive times in the game. I still remember to this fucking day where I spent $700 on Zodiac. Ha <laughs> ha! When it was tier zero. 
I lost my ass. I lost so much money. It was ridiculous. I, I actually have a video on the channel. I think it's called like I spent $700 on Zodiac and I bought three barrages and I showed on TCG Player where I made the card $100 because after I bought my three, it was just $99.99. Whoo, that was an expensive deck, but I lost my ass, right? Some people lose their ass. Some people don't. This is why I always say whatever deck you buy, whether it's $1,000, 500 300 I buy whatever deck I want to play and I turn around after the event turn around and sell it. And then if I lose $5, okay, fine. I can make it up in investments or at my nine to five, you know, uh, depending on how you look at the sunk cost fallacy type of thing. But at least I only technically paid $5 to play the best deck in the room or best case scenario, I made a little bit of money because the cards went up after the fact, which has happened to me too, or I broke even. So I spent no money on my hobby, which is great, but not everybody just has a thousand dollars to fly around. Like they have the biggest wank in the room. You know, that's not the case for everybody. And even like a thousand dollars, like my God, a thousand dollars is what I spend on tires for my sports car. Like <laughs> if I'm not going to go cheap on the tires and get Michelins, your boy spending like over a thousand bucks a piece on tires. That's insane. $4,000 for four tires. And you mean to tell me I'm spending what's worth equal to one sports tire? Pirelli's, mind you, because, you know, we got to go fast, Sonic. <laughs> but you mean to tell me I'm spending what I'll probably spend on a single tire uh, on a deck? Like, no, you can eat my ass proper. Go touch grass. So, look, the thing is, and I commented this on Capital G's video, which you should go watch because it was a very well-made video. They have they have to be trolling. They have to be grifting. Because there's no way in my mind that as smart as people like Triff and Zuzu are to build up the YouTube channel that they have today, there's no way that they can be serious that when they have their brain cells rubbing together that they're going to say, yes, this format's healthy. It's healthy in the sense that it's diverse. There's a lot of different decks you can play. But Zuzu, you can't sit there and tell me that having a $1,000 deck in the meta before Phantom Nightmare, we don't even know how much that's going to be. You can't tell me that's healthy. And the reason why I say 1000 is because if Zuzu, if you're going to claim that you're a casual player, then I'm going to assume that you probably don't have all the staples and SP Little Knight and shit to build Fire Kings. So you are actually spending $1,000. Whereas if you have like an SP Little Knight, you've got some other staples and stuff, then you're not actually spending 1000 if that makes sense. But if you don't have any of that, then yeah, obviously you're spending that much money. You can't sit there and tell me it's healthy when it's not. Little Timmy, who buys the two-player starter set, which I've already said is garbage, um, and I still stand by that. You can't tell me that Little Timmy will sit there and say, wow, this deck is really expensive. Hey, mom and dad, can I get it? No. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to suck at Yu-Gi-Oh with my giant soldier of stone and my two-player starter set. <laughs> and... I it, it amazes me. I'm dumbfounded. This has to be grifting, right? Because for those of you who don't know, not in the Yugi tubing space, uh, January, February, March, uh, especially the months like January and February right after the holidays, which I would argue is like October to December, the ad revenue in YouTube is like so low. It is incredibly low. You could make a 10 second video of you farting into the microphone and have it get 30,000 views in December, you'll get like $10. Like I'm pulling numbers out of my butt, but you get the point. Whereas if you do that in February, you'll get like a buck 50 on a 10 second video. Like you'll be lucky, right? Like because all the red, all the ad revenue from the holidays has been spent. Ain't nobody out here trying to, you know, sell you a Coca-Cola can in February when like hardly anybody's going to be watching YouTube anyway because it's the holidays, it's winter, people are inside, they might be going back to school, you know, whatever the case may be. So to like up their numbers and get people to click on their videos and crap, they're going to grift, right? Or they're going to, you know, cover drama videos. You know, like that tweet from uh, Zuzu, I think had like 180,000, 181,000 views is what? Yeah, 181,000 views. You can't tell me that that's not grifting to a degree. Like th that's where I'm like, as smart as people like Triff and Zuzu are in the sense of not necessarily the game, but to build up a YouTube channel, come on, you know what you're doing, especially for Triff to troll and be like, oh, the game's cheap, just win a YCS who keeps on choking at the top tables. No, stop it. You're uh, even Triff has a tweet where he's like, we're so close to 100,000 subscribers. So he's going to do whatever he can to get to that next point of 100K. Uh, like anybody would. You can't sit there and bullshit me and tell me that you wouldn't. So the whole drama thing with uh, Blackhawk, uh, I, I think Zuzu may have kind of taken it the wrong way. At the same time, I can see where it looks like you're insulting his intelligence. 
I, I think Blackhawk is very aggravated with the game, though, because of the fact that he just quit the paper play game because the game is so expensive. So I see it from both sides. But the main thing that I want to put into this conversation is stop trying to say that the game is healthy right now. A $1,000 deck in the format? No, you can kiss my ass proper. I have made good investments in the stock market, and even my wallet would get drained if I bought into that crap. Thank God your boy already has his invite because we the 10th place Centurion King. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. We don't have to worry about it. We could sit on back in our brand new dentist-looking chair. Everybody says it looks like a dentist chair, but it's really comfy. We can sit on back and relax and say, have fun with your $1,000 deck. Go ahead and sell your cards. We go do a market watch, and the price is already going down. Also, shout out to all the momos and idiots that bought bonfires at $130 a piece, and now they're like $80. Who called that shit? I did. You're welcome, Sugar Boo Bear. Guys, let me know what you think about all this baby back BS in the comments below. I gotta go to the bathroom. So, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.